Good morning. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Monday so far and a great start to your week. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jeannie Nicole and I speak about faith, family, and lifestyle situations. And most of my subscribers have been following me um, since doing Dr. Sabi supplement reviews. Um, leading into what I thought was a Christian and godly marriage and then here more so recently uncovering co covert narcissism okay so welcome everybody so I just wanted to hop on here today and share just a little nugget that I felt like the Lord was placing on my heart in my quiet time so since um, leaving my ex-husband I have Kind of adopted journaling is a huge part of my healing process and it's been going very very well so i realized through um prayer and journaling that there were two main lies that i believed the whole time that i was married and even before then that kind of played a role in me staying as long as i did and even um entering into a covenant with someone who was not a real you know authentic believer of jesus christ so the first lie that I believe that kept me there for so long was that this is as good as it gets. Like this is as good as I can do, the best that I can do, right? That I believe was also attached to another lie that I, I thought of myself and I saw myself through for so long, which was that I was not good enough. And these ideologies and beliefs about myself um, actually came into play as a young child and <clears throat> just going through different things or whatever. And so as I started to kind of, you know, uncover this and I'm like, darn, I've been settling for this person because he he's appeared to be a believer and he wasn't cheating, but he was definitely very emotionally unsupportive, abusive, um, just not very encouraging, not very kind, uh, continuous, like like love bombing cycle so things will be really good one minute and then almost immediately they're terrible so for the women that are struggling and men that are struggling because there are both there are situations for both and i'm actually in the process of getting to know someone's story now and i will bring him on at a later time to share his testimony and what he has uncovered um, as far as the different spirits that are attached to narcissism and just how he was able to, um, you know, get into his healing and deliverance. And I have a, a few other women, too, that want to come on. So, anyways, if you are, know in your heart you're supposed to leave and you are afraid, I am here to tell you, think about what could be on the other side. Like, it is scary because even though it's dysfunction and it is abuse like when something like that is familiar to you i think you can still in a toxic way find comfort in it even though that's not god's best for our lives right but i'm so grateful and so thankful um for the for the strength really from the lord to be able to make a plan execute the plan and stick to it which was to leave and not look back from getting rid of that toxic relationship it's almost like I've opened up doors for a flood of genuine and authentic godly people. Like, I was so used to being around people that only took for me. You know what I mean? Like, they weren't really making real deposits, but just kind of here to, you know, see what I can do for them. And the bulk of that was in my eight-year marriage. And so now, I mean, the friends that I have, I mean they have really been coming through. Like, I've had more company in my house <laughs> since I've been single, more than I was when I was married. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, Valentine's Day this year, I usually don't really get off into Valentine's Day, but this year, oh my gosh, it was the best Valentine's Day I've ever had. Like, my friends showed up and showed out. They came through with a Galentine's gifts, the words of encouragement, like, I feel really loved and seen and understood. Um, so, yeah, I feel like now I'm in a place where God is introducing me to better quality 
of relationships. And that's something that I noticed too in, you know, um, dealing with my father, like when he's ready to elevate me, um, usually he's gonna introduce me into a relationship that affects my purpose directly and the, the direction that he wants me to go in. So that I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing it like unfold before my eyes like right now. And it is kind of scary, but I put all my trust and my faith in him and I don't have any worries. So I'm very confident in the direction that things are going um, with the people that he's introduced them into my life. So anyways, not to ramble, but I just want to put that out there. Please do not believe the lie that you, number one, you're not good enough. And number two, this is as good as it gets because there are quality women and men out there who still love the Lord, who put him first, who will serve him and help catapult you into your purpose even deeper. So just take that first step, you know, of course, prayerfully. Um, do your research and just guard your heart, you know, your minds and everything in Christ Jesus. Be well and have a wonderful week.